For those of you that don't know, this is Baby Doll, and I'm the governor, I'm Jim Justice, and, and Baby Dog and I are on the same diet. <laughs> but listen, it's so fun for me to be with you. You know, there's some really important people I want to make sure I get their names. Just think, think about, think about this. We've got our school superintendent, Dr. Richard Duncan, with us. And we've got our principal, Sarah Caldwell, with us. And I want to make sure this is right. It is Gary Elementary, is that correct? Yeah. Now, the rest of it is all about y'all. That's all there is to it. And you know, you have done something that is truly unbelievable. Unbelievable when you think about it. You know, I've gone all over the place with Baby Doll, and, and she has done amazing things <laughs> and before we leave I want a bunch of you to you know I'll kind of go past you in there and everything and you know I'd love for you to at least reach out and try to pet her because she's so she's a friend of everybody she really truly is I don't know how we could have come up with something better to try to get people to be aware of getting vaccinated and to get us through all this difficulty that we've been through for the last 18 months or so with this terrible, terrible pandemic. You know, it's touched all of our lives without question. You're wearing masks here today. You know, you've been wearing masks. It's absolutely interrupts your life. But I bet you know people too that have been sick. Maybe even people that we've lost. Now, through all this, there was a competition that was developed by the superintendent of schools, Clayton Burke, superintendent of schools all across the land. There were schools everywhere that sent in their registration to try to win the contest. It started out with there was going to be $25,000 given to a school for all kinds of stuff y'all could do stuff with. And then we upped that to $50,000. Now, when we did that, then we had 77 schools across the land that qualified and, and tried to win it. And you know who won? Uh, Gary Elementary. Uh, Gary Middle School. You won. Unbelievable. When it comes right down to it, you won. And I'm gonna read I'm gonna read to you things that maybe you're gonna do. You won fifty thousand dollars. It's unbelievable. It says we're gonna use the money to fix our playground. You know, we would like to lay down a more permanent ground cover and work on our basketball court in the middle school for all of our students. Now, I'm sure you're going to be able to do lots of other things, and I'm sure you know you've got the greatest teachers, the greatest cooks and custodians and service personnel folks. You've got the very best of the best here, because if you didn't have that, you wouldn't be that good. You know, at the end of the day, 
let me just tell you this. You should listen to your parents first and foremost, in my opinion, especially in any regard to this vaccine. But now it's opened up to five to 11 year olds. Eventually it'll probably be opened up to all of us. I hate to say it this way, but, but, but it's just fact. We should be respectful of one another all the time, right? We should love each other all the time. Now, in that, if someone decides we're not going to get the shot and other people decide we are going to get the shot, we should be respectful of each other and that's our freedoms too in what we do. That's where I stand. But in all of that, I also stand in, in, on this place. I don't know of anything else we can do to stop this other than get vaccinated. I don't know anything else we can do. I don't have any other bullet in the gun. I have nothing to stop this, you know, other than that. And every day that we get more and more and more people vaccinated, and every day that you get to see a little baby dog, and baby dog, we will get some chicken nuggets before this is over today. But every day we get better. We get closer and closer and closer to where we want to be. So with all that, I would just say this. You know, without any question, I absolutely, totally, totally love coming to the schools. Son, is that a UT shirt you got on? University of Tennessee? Is it? No, no, the little kid behind me. Come down here just a minute. Oh, turn around. Let me ask you this. I'm serious. Do you know anybody that went to the University of Tennessee? Because that's what that looks like. I don't know for sure that it's a UT shirt. I'm sorry? Oh, you moved here from Tennessee? Well, I mean, give me five, man. I love it that you're here. Now, let me tell you something else. Whoa, you're Oliver? Stan, you need to go over here and pet baby dog, okay? Huh? And she's soft, didn't she? You know, she, just pet her again. She just loves to be pet. All right, Oliver, do you know something? I went to the University of Tennessee. I did. I sure did. I ended up transferring from there to Marshall and finished at Marshall. But I went to the University of Tennessee for sure. I was an athlete there. And I have, and believe it or not, I was skinny and I had brown hair and I played golf there. And I lived in the athletic dorm with all the football players and everybody. But anyway, nevertheless, I saw that and I wanted to, and I want to welcome you to being in West Virginia because we love you being here, okay? And she loves you being here too. You know. <laughs> Give her one more pet. Okay. All right, all. We're going back. Thank you, man. <laughs> listen, listen, y'all. I I mean it from the bottom of my heart when I tell you that I love you. And I'm excited about all the great opportunities and things that you're going to have in West Virginia. And I want you to stay here. That's all there is to it. I want you to grow up here, contribute here, and stay here if you can. If you've got dreams of going to other places, that'll be great. And I want you to chase after every dream and absolutely fulfill your life to the fullest beyond belief. But I'll bet you, I'll bet you in your life as you chase those dreams, you'll still want to come home. And when you come home, we're going to be ready to welcome you and everything. So I don't really have anything else except I want to give this either to your principal and superintendent, maybe. Come on out here now. And this is from Baby Dog and myself and all the great work you do at this incredible school and this incredible and unbelievable kids. And there it is.
$50,000. Pretty good, huh? Way to go. That's way to go. Congratulations, y'all. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to leave y'all and everything, but like I said, I'm going to walk, walk baby dog right down there real slow and everything. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, now. We're going to be moving along, but now she doesn't move real fast. But she's a really good little girl. Thank y'all so much for having me. God bless each and every one of you.